and welcome back to Ground Zero. Now I know all of you are very used to us highlighting how Stomp breaks new ground in citizen journalism. But what people don't realize is that there are also lots of stories shared that touch hearts and lives too. Indeed, and today we wanted to highlight a particular story that many people, including us, were very truly touched by. This contribution. My baby is a miracle because I had breast cancer when 22 weeks pregnant. Yep, Stumper Yeni has a healthy four-month-old baby boy named Darius. But unlike most mothers, her journey to parenthood has been a challenging one. Yeni was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 22 weeks pregnant, and she had to undergo a mastectomy where part or all of the breast is removed and chemotherapy. All this while she was pregnant. She shared. I want to share this story of mine because I want to share my joyful moments. And although having this baby was not easy, when I found out I had breast cancer, I was very very sad. I felt lost for a couple of weeks, and I was really worried about my baby. I think anyone in that position definitely would be.、Mm. And she really took this opportunity to thank a lot of people who supported her throughout this hard time, from her gynae to the people at Tan Tock Seng Hospital, and of course, her loving husband and the Pink Ribbon Support Group. I can't imagine going through all that while being pregnant. She definitely is such a brave and strong woman, and I think a lot of stompers really rallied around her to show more support. So many had well wishes and definitely wanted to make sure she felt the love from the stomp community. Now, people like Four Horsemen, for example, said, "God has watched over you and your baby. Congrats and all the very best, and God will continue to bless you and your family." Love me and love me not said, "Congrats to you, Yeni. Your baby is very cute. All the best to you and your baby." Pink Kitty said. Congrats! Wishing your baby and you good health and being happy forever. While Mama Klein said, "Congrats! Thanks for sharing your difficult experience." And there you are, a fighter and having such a charming baby. Take good care of yourself and baby Darius. I definitely admire her courage and strength. I hope that if put in that kind of you know situation, I will be as strong. So do I. And another virtue I admire in people is honesty. Mmm,、mm-hmm. definitely, especially in guys. Yeah,、mm. very important. <laughs> It definitely speaks of a person's character, and we enjoyed reading this stump article demonstrating just that, where an honest McDonald's staff member actually turned a wallet to a customer.、Uh, Stumper Jeremy wanted to thank Rosalyn, who works at the McDonald's Amokyo Park outlet, for returning the wallet that he had lost in the outlet after supper one day.、Mm. He added that he was a frequent patron of the outlet and said, "I have noticed her on many occasions." And she has never failed to smile and carry a cheerful disposition, which I'm sure brightens up the day of her customers. He also added, "Good job and thank you very much, Rosalyn."、Mm. Many supers were also pleased to hear a bouquet contribution,、mm. and I totally agree with Kratos' 24 sentiments, which he or she said.、Um, finally, a compliment among all the recent complaints after complaints. Nice post, Jeremy, and a great act of honesty, Rosalyn. It definitely puts a smile on our face, right? Yeah. And <laughs> stomping so bolial said, "Wow, hardly see people like this nowadays." I personally think that is totally true. A lot of times, when you lose your wallet, you have to prepare for the worst. You know, and losing phones are even more of a nightmare. Sometimes they disappear in the blink of an eye. Well, I would be very grateful too if I were him. These days, we are carrying so much cards and identification in our wallets that. This, these are always a bother to reapply for. Oh, okay. I、I'm, see. So expensive, also. Yes.、Mm. Yeah, if you lose your wallet, it is really such a hassle. It is. Have you lost your wallet or anything before, Dazwe? Well, I've lost my handphone before, and it was really hard to get it back because when I called for my called my handphone, some China person picked it up, and then he's like, "You 找谁啊？不知道 Then he hung up the phone, and I never got through to my old phone ever again. Darn. So it's really hard to actually find honest people out there. Well, no matter what, I'm still glad, though far and few between, there are people with honesty and integrity.、Mm. So it's really nice to hear heartwarming stories like the two we've heard today. Meanwhile, keep watching because more highlights of this week in citizen journalism are coming right up.